Uh, good evening, everyone. In my nightly attire that you guys uh, see me in all the time. Who am I wearing today? LV, Mark Jacobs jacket. I actually don't know what the hell any of this is. But we have some special guests today. We invaded their apartment. Um, I'll introduce them. Well, they can introduce themselves. Hello, ladies. It is me, your dream guy, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna need a name, height, and fun fact. Victoria, my height is five four and a quarter. And a quarter? Bruh. And a fun fact about me is that I'm from Russia. Ah, can you speak some Russian for us right now? Talk about your childhood. I was just gonna say that, yeah. And then we have Alexis here. Alexis Clark, five, seven and a half. And a half. My Alexa's going off. The Alexa. Alexa is what it's called? Okay, fun fact. I'm from Michigan. I said fun. <laughs> And I can't snowboard, but I've tried. She's 0-2 on the fun facts. We're gonna try one more time. Something that's like, wow. I would have never thought that. I'm amazing at Wii Tennis. <sighs> ah, shit. You know, Alexis, can I talk to you for a second over here? Just so, when you get on the vlog, you have to freaking say some sh That was good. You said Wii Tennis? Sports in general is a talent. Okay, but a fun fact? Give us something fundamentally about your personality or something that's like... Oh, I know. Okay, I know. I got it. Here we go. I'm a master at TikTok dances. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> All right, that's so... We're cutting the fun fact thing. Okay, so that's that for that. Oh, yeah, can you do the thing everyone's been doing? She's a master at TikTok dances, but can't do the TikTok dances. Okay. Do you have a second fun fact? Um, I can do the split. Um, I couldn't help but notice the color of your, um, what are you called? What are these called? Ty leggings. I liked how the design, how it goes in it. No, did you get that? It looks like oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool how, yeah. It looks like I've been working hard. Like the text on the back, like if you turn around again. What? Yeah, it's like white, so it helps pop. Ah, uh, I have a, what brand is that? Navigation. Navigation. Uh, do you have the navigation on too? Yes. That's crazy. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> A little tight. Have you guys ever been catcalled, like in public? Yes, by Ryan Burton. <laughs> Alexis, you're zero and two on these whole th insults and the fun facts. Just one more thing, and you're out. Okay. Then we're just gonna talk to Victoria. So y'all clearly have healthy physiques, you would say. Yeah, we do. Um, you would agree. Yes. How do you feel when you get so much attention from males? Like, damn, so are you bad as hell? Like. Are you tired of that or is it exhausting? Do you enjoy it? Is, does it give your ego a boost? Please explain, who wants to go first? So when I'm at the gym and guys are hitting on me, it's usually about like my quads and my legs and they usually come up to me and ask me to train them the first two seconds of me meeting him. AKA this guy. Who said that? <laughs> so I'll take it as a compliment because I work hard for my body. Do you ever feel objectified? Like they only want you for that? Because if let's say you had two chopsticks, I don't know. I'm just trying to put myself in the position of a woman. If a girl only wanted me because of my beautiful hair, I'd be like, after a while, like, I have more to offer than that. Yeah. Do you feel like that or do you not mind it? I appreciate the compliment and like them complimenting me, but at the same time, I know that like, okay, someone that actually I wanted a future with or to talk to, like they would appreciate other aspects of me besides my body, but also my body at the same time. Okay, so how do you feel about that? Amazing. I'm sure there's some males watching this. What does a guy have to do to get y'all's attention or for you to like them? Because I feel like, actually I know this for a fact because I read books on it all day. What women say they like and what they actually like are two different things. So what do y'all like or what would a guy need to do to win you over? Not be the slide in the DMs. I gotta meet him in person. Aww. Damn, so no DM. They gotta stalk her, see where she's at, pull up. Alexis? Because <laughs> then you know they're in everyone's DMs. The more natural meeting of like, in a grocery store. We don't go out, girl. Who's ever gonna meet us? <laughs> but that's a little disheartening because, well, I can't meet her. She lives in LA, but I only way I can contact her is through DMs, but that's just not how they can get you. You have to go to LA. <laughs> what about you? There's no way you're like that. 
Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, like, it's just, it has to be something funny or clever in my DM, but then I'll probably just laugh and, like, ignore it and tell my friend. I think any guy that I've, like, ever dated was, like, I met naturally in person, and, like, I had a connection with them before kind of, like, figuring out my whole social media thing. Someone asked me the other day, actually, like, what should I, like, I have met this, like, hot girl online, and she has a lot of followers. What do I do? I'm like, just be yourself. Like, don't be, like, creepy. Just say a fun fact about her. Like, if she likes snowboarding, be like, oh, my God, I saw you on snowboarding. Like, that looks so fun. Like, I actually do that, too. Like, where do you usually go? I see. <laughs> now, if someone were to go on your IG or Alexis's, and they saw a picture, one picture of you snowboarding, hey, I love that snowboarding picture. <laughs> you know damn well they don't give an F about snowboarding because your how you look they obviously want to know about that here's my thing what is the success rate of because i'm sure you've had big people both of y'all have had popular guys athletes youtubers all sliding your dms what is the success rate of getting like a reply back out of 200 dms how many are you responding to um I don't that answers know. that answers the question you do you be responding to these people or no sometimes sometimes she, she does, she does. She, like maybe like one out of like 200 like three. She told me some of the people that DM'd her, I was like, gosh, I DM'd her, what? <laughs> what? She answered too. <laughs> well lit, uh, we're doing a wine taste test this evening. They keep it hot in here, dude. Look at the damn thing. It's 76. <clears throat> These girls on Instagram, oh, they're so bad. They live in conditions that are not suitable for human life. She got an ugly, this thing is hard as fuck. We have two types of wine here. I just turned 21. You guys knew that. We made it a point to pick out the cheapest wine at Trader Joe's or wherever the hell we went. There you go. So that's what it is. So can I just drink this out of the bottle? Have you been growing Well, here we are all together. So I'll oh, pour a glass. So how do you slide into a girl's DM? Simple. This is her YouTube video. How cool I am. What's up? Here's the thing about sliding in girls' DMs. First off, fellas watching this, bro, do not spend 10 minutes worrying about women because they're so picky and so have all these athletes and this guy and that guy and this famous person. Just focus on yourself. But if you had to DM her, a simple hey or like a simple um, hi. What is your success rate? Not that good. You would think. I'm trying to be friends with these people. I'm trying to connect and network and stuff just because they have a fat. A business proposal, that's a good one. Like if someone says like make the top line, uh, business proposal or like something about business. And then, then I'm like, oh shit, like I might get money out of it. So I click on it and then it's like business proposal. Want to yeah. go on a date with me or something like that. Here's the thing, because I understand how women work and stuff. It doesn't even matter if your line is clever or funny or bad. They already know if they like you or not the second they look at a picture of you or look at a few pictures. So you could be the ugliest dude, but have the funniest line. Er, doesn't matter because she's already not attracted to you. You could be as beautiful as me, and but she just doesn't. She's just not attracted to my type. So she, it doesn't matter if I say something. Hey, I would like to get to know you. Er, but Alexis thought I was cute as fuck. So that's why she answered me. But anyway, so here we are. Uh, so here we are. We're trying the white Zinfandel. That's Russian, right? No. Here we go. Swirl it. Cheers. Tell us your thoughts. What are you feeling? You know what? Not terrible. Better than sugar free ketchup? They have sugar free ketchup here. Imagine a life this sad. No sugar added. It tastes the same. Next, we're having Crane Lake. I love the imagery on this bottle. Pinot Noir. What does Noir mean? Red wine. Nope. It? No, it noir means black, doesn't it, in French? Yes. No. I said French in high school. Yeah, I said this. Bro, I, ooh, that's dark. You need to cleanse your palate? Yeah, we should probably like Wait, kiss. You smell huh? The did they really do that? Yeah, it's not, yeah. To cleanse your yeah. palate? No, well, I don't know. Did you see the thing that you can do with these corks where they disappear? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to me. Anyway, here we go. I like this. Can I have this? No. Give you can me. borrow it. Okay, fair. You have to bring it back. How would you wear this? As a skirt. Like that. Not oh. like this. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Oh. It's oh. way too dry. Oh, that's terrible. It's dry just like your phone <laughs> That was rude. That was rude. That's disgusting. Who bought that? And you like you like the taste of that? I do. Better than this. That's too sugary. It tastes like syrup. Well, I'm a sweet type of guy. That's bitter. Which one did you like? I like the sweet stuff. Yeah, I like that too. Ugh. So you eat the sugar-free ketchup, and you eat the black death. Ugh. These girls, man. These IG baddies, man. And it's different in person, dude. 